Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. So it is Wednesday, June 29th. This will be Thursday's video, which will be day 20. Well, and this will also be the day that I know we. Thursday's video will be Friday, so Friday you'll hear how my orientation went for my new job. I am so tired. It's been a long day. After getting four hours of sleep last night, and then getting up at nine with the phone call this morning, Getting ready for my interview. Driving to the interview. And then getting the job. And being all excited and happy and whatnot. Coming home. Dealing with almost bullshit. Um... Taking Eliza to the dog park. Cubby Ho. Catching a fusies, and I do mean a few. Um, and then going to my Wiccan study group, which ended up only being me and the two people that founded it. Which is cool, because we got to do things that I've been kind of asking about for a while Christina the girl who runs it she uh well co-runs it she did this she created this divination that I'd never heard of before her and it's really cool but she it's like you take um crystals and you she drew like this map thing of different directions and like different it's it just really cool so she did a, a reading for me with that, which was really cool because it was so dead on, it was unreal. And then Chris, he's my fellow tarot buddy, like we're both obsessed with tarot cards. He did a past life reading for me. And that, again, was dead on. And what's funny is that apparently in my past life, one of them, several of them, whatever. I was um, very, very successful and very popular and was just about to have it all and I was badly, badly, badly betrayed. Like, backstabbed. And he said, literally. And in the way that he liked to, he put it, now it's funny as hell, he goes... You were fucked, and then you didn't even get a cigarette. <laughs> that was quite funny. And then my life ended very suddenly. And I never had any chance to uh, get over the anger, the hurt, the betrayal um, in the past life. <sighs> so it carried over now, over to now, this life. And when I think back on everything else in my life, I've had my mother betray me and hurt me and neglect me and abuse me and cause me undeniable pain. And then I've had, well, you guys know about my ex-husband. You guys know about Cameron, my late husband, who died. And then I had a guy who beat me up. And then I had a guy who cheated on me. And now my current ex, he just hurt me, spit on me, just kicked me in the head, kicked me in the heart. Not 
physically, not actually, but just figuratively. Um, after so many times of trying, I just, I guess I just was a glutton for punishment or something, because I just honestly... I just kept letting him come back. But it's also my fault too. I can't I can't say that it's not, but there were things that led up to me letting him him come back this last time and the people that contributed to it know it and they've apologized. Um profusely. And uh you know, it's it's hard, but, you know, sometimes you just have to go through things in your life to make you realize, you know, what you'll tolerate and what you won't. And going back to my past lives, it's like, it's so funny how things seem to go hand in hand with my life, with my past life, with now, with all the hurt and betrayal and mistrust. It's no wonder that I don't trust people. But Chris gave me some really good advice tonight. He said, instead of wondering what everybody's ultimate, you know, um, ulterior motive is or their goal or, you know, what, what's going, by, huh, going on behind the scenes, just live for the moment. Look at what's going on in the here and now and take it in and, you know, deal with it like that. And I think what I'm really going to have to do is I'm just going to have to do things. I'm just going to have to take things day by day. Live my life day by day. Work incredibly hard to make it financially, to be happy, and just work my ever-loving ass off. But be careful of who I let close to me. Because even though my wrist is itching like crazy, you know, there are, no matter who, who you trust, no matter, you know, what you put your trust in, there's always going to be somebody that wants to hurt you and break your trust. So I think I'm definitely going to um, take it as advice and live everything day by day moment to moment um, observe the situation and if it's something that I feel like I really can't trust I won't do it we have a saying in our group if it doesn't feel right don't do it so from now on that's what I feel like I'm going to do if I don't feel like I can trust somebody I'm not going to do it um Another thing that I'm kind of struggling with here is Sorry, I had to look at something. Um I'm wondering just how much I, more I should let go of Cameron. I will never forget him and I don't know how to put this. I want to let him go, but I'm not quite ready. But I know that I have to let him go to really move on and accept things and all that stuff. And as much as I hate to say it, he actually, the douchebag actually told me that I'm never going to truly love anybody unless I get over the love that I have for Cameron or something along those lines and maybe it's true I don't 
don't know. It's uh something I'm gonna have to work through. But there's uh, I can't see my clock. Where's my Twenty after one. I've been speaking for I think nine minutes or nineteen I don't know. I can't I don't know. But at any rate I'm gonna close for now. Because um bitch and tired. And uh I haven't yet another big couple of days. Ladies and gentlemen, um, well, let me, uh, there we go. So I can honestly say that the kitten that we uh, kind of adopted has made herself at home. <laughs> She's decided that the dog's dish is her dish. And Liza does not look happy. Well, bless you. This kitten is uh, definitely quite hyper. She's in the dog's dish eating the dog's food. How this little bitty mouth can get her, can get that, I mean the pieces of food are like this big. <laughs> Ashes, what are you doing? Yeah, I've named her Ashes because she's gray like Ashes and I just think that it works. I think I need to come up with another name like Spunky or something because she is hyper as hell. I forgot what it was like to have a kitten. Boy. So. She's won my heart. She's staying. I didn't know what I wanted to do. But she curled up onto my lap. Started purring and fell asleep. And then she heard noises out in the kitchen and that's where she ended up. This is her little spot. Say hi to you two. <laughs> Her name is Ashes. Say hi, Ashes. <laughs> Say hi, Ashes. <laughs> Ashes. <laughs> I really didn't want another cat, but she won. Pretty girl. Is that kitty nip good? That's why my husband Jason is a kitty nip good. Transformation, the program that tens of thousands of moms are now using so, to turn around their behavior. The giving her cat catnip would have the opposite effect of that it has on them. Those two, when they eat it, they get hyper. This one's already hyper. So I'm wondering if giving it to her is going to make her want to sleep. Get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. I think you just ate a feather. Let me prove to you that it works by giving you the program free. Call the number on your screen now to get the total transformation free. Comedy is back. I didn't know they were good. They just kind of.